overdid it. Hi guys, up on Durham Downs again. Although apparently they like to call it Clifton Downs nowadays. I think what I'll do, for no good reason, is try the speed app on the rubber band powered car. Over there, on that side of the road, on that bit of footpath. Because that looks fairly smooth. So I think that's what I'm going to do, just to pass the time. I'm on taxi duty again, waiting for a call from my wife. But I should have an hour or so to kill. Alright, let's see if we can remember how to do this. Reset average speed, yes. Reset maximum speed, yes. Okay. Not as smooth as it looked from the road. Right, walking across here, I met 2.79 miles per hour. Well, that's fairly typical, isn't it? It's not going to be my day today. Hi guys. What a difference a day makes. Brilliant sunshine yesterday. Today it's raining. I've just nipped out in a break between the rain showers. Let's see if we can try the rubber band powered car with the speed app on it. In there. Just have a look, see how fast it goes. I don't expect much. I just thought it'd be interesting to try it. that a try. Reset average. Ah, right, done it. Finally. <laughs> Did it register? Maximum speed 1.11. Let's wind it up a bit more. Overdid it. Oh, that's interesting. That's my paper clip has broken. I was expecting it to be the rubber band. Oh, that's annoying. That'll have to be the end of today's session because I don't think I've got any spare paper clips. Oh well, right. I'll have to try it another day. 
Oh, now my wheel's falling off. <coughs> Twice I've taken this out to try and do a speed test with it and twice it's failed. So I've made a few modifications. On the last outing, just here, I've got a bent paper clip as the loop to hook the rubber band onto and that failed. It was only a very thin uh, paper clip, so now I've replaced that with much thicker wire. So I'm hoping that won't break. And then the other problem I was having was the wheels kept falling off because they were just held in place with some rubber grommets that just gripped onto the axle, so they would slide around. So I've cut up some electrical connectors, chocolate blocks as I call them, which are brass tubes with screw threads in them. So I've cut two of them up and put half of one on each axle to hold the wheels on. Oh, I'm just pressing the camera there, uh, the phone. That's the one with the speed app on it. Digi Hub, Digi HUD head up display. That's the one I've been using. Um, I'll get rid of that. Exit. Okay. The other thing I was having trouble with was getting it to go straight. Because I'd got a short axle for the front axle, any minor changes had quite a significant effect on the steering so I've made the front axle much wider so now we should be able to see whether it's straight or not and I've also put two screws on that bracket there originally I just put one on there so that we could adjust the steering I've put a second one on there now but tightened it up um, quite a lot but left a bit of um, uh, how do we put this? Oh, I made the hole a bit bigger, so there's a bit of slop in there. So we can still adjust the steering, but only a tiny amount. So hopefully we'll be able to get a straight run. So wider front axle, stiffened up the steering, uh, connectors to stop the wheels falling off, and a stronger bit of wire there to loop the rubber band round. So you never know, or we might be third time lucky.